Emmanuel Jerome Gilbert, also known as Shorty and Ilaru, of Tempe St. George, died on Friday, April 30th, 2021, at the age of 78. He was the father of Rita Harry, Kingley and Annie Richardson, Carlisle Joseph, Junior, Peter, Terence, Marlene, Desiree, Kiwana, Telly, Christelle and Nisha Dominic, Paul and Deborah, stepfather of Janice Dominic, brother of Mavis, Teresa Abraham, Ina and Maureen Gilbert, grandfather of 34, great-grandfather of nine, brother-in-law and close friend of David, Wayne and Emerald Dominic, Face, Mr. Cooley, Maggie Valentine and Simon Baston, son-in-law of Paul Henney, other relatives and friends including the Dominic, Edwards and James families of Tempe, the Gilbert family, the Ashby family, the boys on the block at the old Coke factory, and neighbors and loved ones in the surrounding areas of Tempe. The funeral service and interment of the late Emmanuel Jerome Gilbert, also known as Shorty and Ilaru, of Tempe St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Venezia Christine Francis Banfield, also known as Venny, barrister at law and arbitrator of River Road who resided at Lansapine, St. George, passed away on Saturday 8 May in London, England at the age of 52. She was the wife of Dr. Kenrick Banfield of River Road, St. George, mother of Kylie and Sinead Francis Banfield, daughter of Cynthia Francis Stephen in Grenada and George Bartholomew in the USA. Sister of Cletus Francis in Trinidad, Lawrence and Dominic Francis, and Mary Francis in the USA, Kenneth Stephen, also known as Kenny, Cindy Stephen in the USA, Spavlin Stephen in England, Latoya and Damien Stephen, Beverly Da Costa in Bermuda, Shauna Lee Taylor, Anthony Bartholomew, Lisa Bartholomew Woods, and Marsha Bartholomew, Akin Rosotu in the USA, daughter in law of Jasmine Banfield, also known as Jazzo. Sister-in-law of Canista Banfield, Kathleen, Cassandra, and Kevin Banfield, also known as Sailor Boy. Niece of many including Loris, Dennis, and Denise Bartholomew, Lorna Murrell, Monica Mitchell, Anthony Francis, and Sonny Francis Hay. Many nieces, nephews, and cousins including Katie and Mitchell and Karen Jordan. Other relatives and friends including the Francis, Prime and Mitchell families of Willis, Bartholomew family of Woodlands, River Road, Meros, Banfield family of Guav and River Road, Nicole, Neva Pitt, Lex and Medford, Leslie and Leslie, Daisy Hazard, Sherry and Smith, members of the Liberal Party, Grays in Court, England and the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, the Grenada Bar Association, friends and neighbors of River Road and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Venezia Christine Francis Banfield, also known as Venny, of River Road, who resided at Lansapine St. George, will be held in London, England. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Byron George Stewart, also known as Torty, of Mondeley St. Paul St. George, a well-known tailor and long-standing member of Comanchero Steel Orchestra, passed away on Monday, 17th May, 2021, at the age of 86. He is survived by his wife, Amiran William Stewart, children Anthony Stewart, Adasha Andrew, Curtis Mitchell, Tessa McQuilkin, and Cecil Noel, siblings Telma Robinson in the USA, Emery and Lawrence Laurie Stewart, grandchildren Demal Bullen, Ethan Andrew, Ivan Peters, Ariana, CJ, and Nikali Mitchell, Segan and Joshua Noel. Daughters-in-law Nikisha Boney Mitchell and Anne Edwards Noel. Son-in-law Ron Andrew. Sisters-in-law Dorothy Stewart in the USA, Ansilk Evans, Rhonda, Rolda and Devadney. Brothers-in-law Len, Terry, Anthony, Raleigh, Peter and Derek Williams. Many nieces and nephews including Donald, Annette, Chanel, Christelle, Janice, Avis, Kenneth, Shireen, and Earl Stewart, Velma Victor, and Bernard Bourne. Other relatives and friends including Gemma and Renee Stewart, Tara Eastman Charles and family, 
The Williams, McQuilkin, Mitchell, Bruno, Lambert, Jones, Scott, St. Bernard and Noel families, Teresa Redhead and family, Dennis Punch Phillip, Terrace, James G.B. Bruno, and neighbors and associates of Mondelez and St. Paul's, the Comanchero Steel Orchestra family, and members of the Steel Band fraternity. The funeral service and interment of the late Byron George Stewart, also known as Stuarty of Mondelez St. Paul's, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Alistair Joseph Young, also known as Paley of Duquesne St. Mark, a well-known bus and truck driver, former employee at Public Works, Colonel Springwater, and Barry's Engineering, passed away on Friday, 7th May, at the age of 74, left to mourn his wife, Mavis Young, née Barry. Children, Risha, Joshua, Jamil, Leon, Ali, Alwyn, Alston, and Alistair in Grenada, Alison in England. Brothers and sisters Ralph, Roy, Austin, Lloyd, Ben, Catherine, and Rolda in England. Kelly, Anselm, Selby, Rona, Toylin, and Alan in Grenada and abroad. Twelve grandchildren, two great grandchildren, many aunts and uncles, including Auntie Esme and Auntie Mildred, many nieces, nephews, and cousins, too numerous to mention, in Grenada and abroad. Brother-in-law of many caretakers, Benita Barry and Florence Cyrus. Many other relatives and friends including the David, Young, Bartholomew families of Duquesne, Resource, Chantemel and Nonparel, the Williams family of Victoria, Gemma, Diali, Jeffrey and family, Jermaine Trotman and family, Lynette Cox and family, Audrey Wildman and family, pastor and members at Duquesne Bible Holiness Church, Members at the Catholic organizations in Duquesne and Victoria, friends and neighbors of Duquesne and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Alistair Young will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Laurel Veronica Hazard of Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, passed away on Saturday 8th May 2021 at the age of 83. She was the mother of Dawn Williams and Bernadette Beverly Tate in the U.S., Paula and Justin Hazard in Grenada, grandmother of Ryan Hazard, Damian Williams, Rick Hazard, Tonya Williams, Jamon Nichols, Javel Hazard, Brandon Tate, Jada Lacqua, Jalen Hazard, and Maya Hazard, great-grandmother of 18, sister of Winston Braffitt. Aunt of many including Desmond Gittens, Maureen, Miranda, John, Robbie, Paul, Glennis, Angela, Lindsay and Val. Many other relatives and friends including Trisha Thomas and family, the Braffitt family of Richmond Hill, Vincent's and Grand Roy, the Ashton family of Richmond Hill, the Hazard and Miller families of Vincent's, the Celestine family, Brenda Jones and family, Pauline George and family, Patricia and Raymond Greenwich, Septimus Bullen, Mrs. Charter, Michelle Welch and family, Marilyn Chase and family, and friends and neighbors of Vincent's and Creighton. The funeral service for the late Laurel Veronica Hazard or Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Dorothy Charles Sylvester, also known as Fatty of Baltazar St. Andrew, passed away on Wednesday, 5th May, at the age of 62. She was the wife of Joseph Sylvester, mother of Rhonda Philip, Chanel Sylvester, Jesse, Kenroy, Ashlyn, Keyshawn, Kenisha, and Kenrick Charles, adopted mother of Dawson and Anselm, stepmother of Janel Joseph, sister of Anthony Charles, Agatha Caliste, Dalton Philip, Brenda Alexander, Norland, Norlana, Lydris and Lois George, mother-in-law of Desmond McSween, Mary and Denise Charles, grandmother of 20 including Sabrina Philip, Kenesha Cridlin, Shondell Sylvester, Ashlyn, Kishana and Kentrell Charles, great-grandmother of three, many nieces and nephews and cousins, other relatives and friends including close friends, 
Lloyd Nelson, Katrin George, Ashley Warming Canada, Brenda Fleming in Trinidad, Rita Phillip, Shanda, the Richardson, Charles, Clark and Fortune Families, St. George's Market Vendors, and the farmers of Clojure, Lapertree, Maribo and Pearls, close friends and relatives of the surrounding areas of Balthazar, Saab and Maribo. The funeral service and interment for the late Dorothy Charles Sylvester will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Beatrice Winifred Boson Nekutain, also known as Hot Chocolate, of Union St. Andrew, a well-known trafficker and market vendor of the Grenville Market, passed away on Thursday, 13 May 2021, at the age of 87. She was the mother of Selwyn Boson in Trinidad, Yvonne Boson, Anselm Boson, also known as Bradman, Gordon Boson, also known as Zico, all in the USA, Alvin Boson, also known as Tola, and Eric Boson, also known as Bay. Grandmother of 17, including Siobhan, Nikita, Noreen Francic, Loris Lewis, Carrie Ann Boson, Alicia Caliste, Tanil Thomas, Erin Pear, Calvin and Royan Neptune. Great grandmother of 13, aunt of Josephine Antoine, Agnes Edwards, Loris Philip, Agnita Collimore, Jeanette, Leon, and Sebastian Cutain. Mother in law of Anne Marie, Sandra, and Emmanuel Boson. Her caregiver, Decima Lewis. Many other relatives and friends, including Dennis John and the John families in Antigua, the Sheridan and Coutain families of Union and Post Royal, the Boson families in Grenada and Cariacou, the Colimo families in Trinidad, the Walcott families of St. James and Union, the Lewis families of Richmond and Ladigue, the Mitchell family of Ladigue, the Edward family in the USA, Algeron and Pearl Shares, Reynald and Amigo, and friends and neighbors of Union, Ladigue, Post Royal, and Grenville St. Andrew. The funeral of the late Beatrice Winifred Boson, née Coutain, also known as Hot Chocolate, of Union St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Margaret Cynthia Joseph of Park Lane St. George died on Sunday 23rd May 2021 at the age of 82. The funeral arrangements for the late Margaret Cynthia Joseph of Park Lane St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Pauline Mary Magdalene St. Paul, née John, of Hermitage St. Patrick, who resided at Tempe St. George, passed away on Tuesday, 18th May 2021 in the USA, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Pauline Mary Magdalene St. Paul, née John, of Hermitage St. Patrick, who resided at Tempe St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Veronica Mona Joseph of Brazan St. George passed away on Thursday, 13 May 2021, at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late Veronica Mona Joseph of Brazan St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Glenroy Thomas of Moya St. Andrew passed away on Monday, 26 April, at the age of 36. The funeral for the late Glenroy Thomas of Moya St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Earl Springer Ford, also known as Duke of Fontenoy St. George, passed away on Sunday, 16th April 2021, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Earl Springer Ford, also known as Duke of Fontenoy St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Kayleen Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St. Andrew, a former student of the St. Mary's R.C. School and student of the Paraclete Government School, died on Friday 14th May 2021 at the age of 10. The funeral arrangements for the late Kayleen Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St. Andrew 
will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, former assistant superintendent of Her Majesty's prisons, passed away on Saturday 15th May 2021 at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Erlin Paul of Paradise St. Andrew, who resided in Grandin St. George, passed away on Friday 7th May at the age of 50. The funeral of the late Erlin Paul will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Mary John of Florida St. John, who resided in New Hampshire St. George, passed away on Sunday, 25th April, at the age of 94. The funeral service of the late Mary John of Florida St. John, who resided in New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, died on Sunday, 2nd May 2021, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. In loving memory of Viola John of Hermitage St. Patrick, who entered into rest on 25th May 2018 and was interred at the family cemetery Hermitage on the 14th of June. She was a devoted mother, grandmother, sister, aunt and friend. Not a day goes by and we don't think of you. Those special memories of you will always bring a smile. If only we could have you back just for a little while, then we could sit and talk again just like we used to do. You always meant so very much, and always will do too. The fact that you're no longer here will always cause us pain, but you're forever in our hearts until we meet again. Arrangements were entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Freenwell Homes. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. The Bible, this book, familiar to every person on the face of the earth today, gives us directions for our life when death comes there is great sorrow to the family and friends and loved ones are the part the one that has passed on but if we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and we follow the instructions of this book we know we will meet again we don't take it lightly we don't take it for granted. There must be a decision. Because without a decision, the decision is made to be separated from God. So put your trust in the Lord. Believe. The thief on the cross said, Lord, consider me. And Jesus said, today you would be with me this very hour. And they died together. So put your trust in the Lord. And God bless you during your time of grief and bereavement. Put your trust in the Lord.